You are watching Ballistic Coffee Boy. Welcome to Expresso, episode 20. Ballistic Coffee Boy here, your host. Continuing on with our summer uh, theme of water-related or summer-related games, I want to take a look at River Patrol by Tiger Vision in 1984. Lots of information about this game I found. And I picked this one randomly as well. The instructions say, You are a captain of the boat trying to make it upriver while saving the drowning people lost in one of the nine rivers. The more people you save, the more points you score, but your boat leaks, so watch your water gauge. So that's pretty much it here. Um, the game features there are nine different rivers to navigate. After completion of the ninth river, the next cycle will start at seventh river and finish at ninth river until the end of the game. The goal gauge is the green bar. It says this gauge indicates how close you are to the dam and their course. The water gauge, the violet bar, it says this gauge indicates how much more water your boat can take on before it sinks. It will move according to how much water you have taken on. Its speed depends on how many rivers you have completed. If the gauge goes to zero, your boat sinks. Whirlpool and alligator. Water will flood into your boat faster when it hits an alligator or caught in a whirlpool. When your boat is caught in a whirlpool, escape by pushing the engine button when the boat points upriver. Driftwood, rocks, shore, another boat, and TNT. When your boat hits these objects, it will sink. Drowning people. When a drowning person is saved, bonus points will be scored. Chances. You get four leaky river patrol boats. After all of four boats have sunk, your game will be over. Scoring. There are three ways to score. When your boat passes a certain mileage on the course, ten points will be awarded. A bonus is awarded when you reach the dam. The final save the water gauge determines the size of this bonus. And three, for each drowning person your boat successfully saves, you are awarded an increasing bonus. The bonus starts at 50 points and increases by 50 points for the next person, i.e. 50, 100, 150, 200, etc. If you fail to save a person, the bonus is reset to 50 points. I also found out some cool information about this game. It says here on Wikipedia, this is actually an arcade game put out in 1981 by CGI and developed by Orca Corporation. It was licensed to Kirsten for distribution in North America. So, um, also the legacy for this game, a bootleg version of the game was developed by Falcon titled Silverland, uh, which changed the main premise to skiing. Uh, it's also similar to the 1981 Vic-20 game River Rescue. Um, also, it says here, after the release of River Patrol into the market, Orca would go on to work on several projects. Their Percussor, The Bounty, Looper, Springer, Funky Bee, Slalom, and Ski Lancer. Vaster, published by Sesame Japan Corporation, and Espial, among others. On June 20, 1983, Orca went bankrupt. Former members of this company later worked at Crux before forming Toplin. Pretty interesting. So this game is pretty tough. As you can see, um, it's really hard. You have to keep pressing the red button to accelerate. And uh, it's just really clunky, I found. And the music is just really annoying. What do you think? I bet you can barely hear me. So half these drowning people are just... It was definitely hard to save them all. Um, trying to avoid all these objects is definitely difficult. So where would I rank this game? Probably a Dopio Espresso. Maybe if I was bored one day like I am today. I'd play it. Let me know what you think, guys. You are, you are watching, watching. Ballistic, Ballistic Coffee, Coffee Boy. Boy.